In all the hoopla that is the one and done in men's basketball, women's basketball has retained the allure of the four-year athlete. Recruiting has added meaning, with players likely on the roster from freshman to senior year. Temple head coach Tanya Cardoza found one gem in 2013 in senior Fionda Fitzgerald and another in Aaliyah Butts one year later. The two ladies are the bedrock of the foundation of women's basketball on Broad Street. Fitzgerald, a 5'7 guard from Norfolk, Virginia, is pacing the Owls in points, averaging 18.7 per game, and leads the team in assists with 44. Against Vermont University Sunday at Pierce McGonagall Hall, Fitzgerald's senior leadership was evident. She had the majority of her seven assists in the second half, setting up teammates for promising looks, which were absent in the first half. She's been the playmaker all season, and it's a role that she can get behind as a senior. Well, since I got here, like that was like one of the things that I had to do towards the end of the game, or the coach will always want the ball in my hand, so um, it's just kind of natural now. I'm used to it, so I don't mind like taking over at the end of the game or coming to get the ball to handle the ball to find an open team. It's, it's whatever my team needs me to do, so I just make sure I get it done. On a four and three Owls team, she has a proficient backcourt mate in Butts. It helps Fitzgerald that Butts is another guard who can play both point guard and off ball. The senior is appreciative of Butt's presence in the rotation. Yes, uh, Liz is a, a very great player. I think she can shoot the ball very well, and she can also handle the ball very well. So, I mean, yeah, that she's great help. Fitzgerald acknowledged that her relationship with Butts has blossomed over the course of their careers, and they discourse off the court. Developing a relationship with her teammates is essential for Fitzgerald, the floor general whose job is to make her teammates more effective on the court as well. Another player she's meshed with over the years, guard Tanai Atkinson, was the third leading scorer heading into the Vermont game before leaving with a face injury. In her place was Denasia Fountain. The junior Georgia Tech transfer hopped off the bench and contributed right away. As an upperclassman, she's willing to guide the youth on the team. It's good, you know, we have a lot of people that's experience, so we can um, help the freshmen like, you know, get acclimated to the system and get going and things like that. So it's really good for the freshmen. The freshmen benefit, excuse me, benefit from it most. Um, coming into a team that has a lot of experienced players and a lot of upperclassmen that have been playing together for the last two years or three years. So the freshmen benefit from, a lot, benefit from it a lot. Fountain is fourth on the team in scoring and has the second most rebounds, providing a compliment to Fitzgerald and Butts. Cardoza has been reliant on veterans during the early portion of the season. Sunday, she had faith in her guard rotation to implement a full court press. That stymied Vermont, and the upperclassmen rewarded her with tough defense and a 53-39 win, with Fitzgerald and Butts alternating between guard positions and Fountain adding versatility, Temple could be poised for an NCAA tournament run this season. Reporting for Multimedia Storytelling, I'm Jake Hyman.